There's so much more to Panama than the Panama Canal. This little piece of tropical heaven bridging North and South America is gaining in popularity as a feast for the senses. But did you know that it's also a feast? Panama, good food, good wine, good people. It's the place to be. Chef Pierre de Janon knows Panama's a feast. His restaurant is in the city's old quarter, but the flavors are all new. Some people say my food is sexy. Chef Coquito Calvo has both casual and fine dining covered in this city. I've catered for uh, many, many uh, well-known uh, movie stars. And Charlie Collins keeps his city and country all in balance. Yes, Panama is a hot spot for food, and we're gonna tell you all about it on Three Chefs, One City. Three Chefs, One City looks at the world's great food destinations through the eyes of its three most celebrated chefs. This time, we're in Panama. We're checking out what Panamanian food is and what it's becoming. I am Chef Cuquita. I am Chef Pierre de Llanon. I'm Chef Charlie Collins. This is my Panama. This is my Panama City. This is my Panama. First up, Chef Pierre de Llanon. Chef Pierre de Llanon, who is he? Chef Coquita, in Panama there's only two good things to do. Go to the Panama Canal and Tantalo, so you better know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Pierre worked extensively in some of the best hotels in Chicago before returning to his Panamanian roots and opening the first Panamanian tapas restaurant. Casco Viejo is the uh, older city of Panama, surrounded by seven churches and plenty of restaurants and good food. The name Casco Viejo literally means helmeted and to get old. So this walled city was built to be protected and to last. The population here is very attractive because they have that sexiness that the real Panamanian has. His restaurant, Tantalo Kitchen, is situated in the historic Casco Viejo district of Panama. The streets here are reminiscent of Havana, Cuba, or even New Orleans, Louisiana. We put Tantalo here in Casco Viejo because of the area, because it's the old city is uh, up and coming, definitely. Real estate here is getting like really expensive, so it was an opportunity for us to establish Tantalo here. Casco Viejo is a rebuild of a historic area that was destroyed by pirates back in 1671, namely the infamous Captain Morgan. Tantalo is the first rooftop bar in Panama City, actually. You can see the actual city, you can see the old city of Casco Viejo, you can also see the Cerro Ancon, which is over there with the Panamanian flag and nobody's gonna take that view that we have up here because nobody can build anything higher than us right now because of the law. Family really seems to be an integral part of Panama as people get together, enjoy the local culture, city offerings, and of course, food. You know, if you're married with children, they gotta support you if, if this is really your passion. If you, your passion is to cook and they, they gotta support you and I really, you know, admire my wife and my son because they, they have sacrificed a lot of time without me. I wouldn't be able to get this success that I have so far without my family. I'm an octopus guy. I'm gonna present to you the Tantalo octopus. Octopus is something that all the Panamanians like. This is the octopus. Obviously, it's pre-cooked already. We braise it in some uh, red wine, vinegar, uh, garlic, um, bay leaves, and some. Also, we chop, uh, we throw some in some onions to to the pot, and just braise it for 45 minutes until we get that tenderness. All good chefs are a little particular when it comes to selecting ingredients, and Chef Pierre is no exception. 
every chef wants to work with fresh ingredients. Yes, Panama is in the tropics. Yes, Panama is surrounded by two oceans. But we don't have that many variety of, of fresh ingredients. That's why chefs got to be creative and try to make some explosions and make it tasty with what we have. Olive oil is always good to use. It you know, doesn't matter how you use it. It's good for your body and it's great for cooking. We're going to add up our tender octopus. When I went to Le Cordon Bleu, what I learned was the why, the why of everything in the kitchen. Why do you have to blanch some asparagus before you're gonna do a banquet? You know, everything has a why. That's my philosophy in the kitchen with my cooks. We add some uh, coconut milk. This is great consistency, great flavor to the dish. That's where, where the Caribbean shows up. Perfect. I would say Panamanian cuisine is a mixture between uh, Caribbean and Spanish cuisine. We're just gonna add some cilantro. Cilantro is like our draw. In Panama, cilantro, we eat it, we smoke it, we do everything with it. I have 60 uh, staff members. That's including from kitchen to storeroom, waiters, bartenders, and you know, the whole ball game. Uh, donde, donde Miquel. Me sirvieron un pulpo que era el ajillo, pero el ajo estaba quemado. My philosophy is just try to give as much as you can because I do it for Tantalo and I do it for you guys, so you should do it too, you know, so it's lead, lead by example. Every time that you play something, you gotta be like a dumb proof. Like a dumb can carry that plate and it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna fall apart, you know, because you know, there are some waiters that they just grab it and they don't care how they present it and, you know, if that falls apart, it's, it's not going to be very good. Or cilantro, a little bit of roasted uh, fresh coconut, uh, reduction of uh, balsamic vinegar. Voila, Chef Charlie, here's your octopus. Try to beat this up, all right? I'll see you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Chefs definitely can be rock stars with the ladies. We, we have a charm, I don't know what it is, because we are not the best good looking guys, but you know, we got a charm probably because of the cooking skills or any other skills that we may have. But usually we feel that we are like rock stars and we are, you know, always attracting women. Coming up next, a TV and a cookbook star working both ends of the culinary scale. How well does that work out? We'll find out when we meet Chef Coquito Calvo.